Okay then. Hello, people of the internet. My name is Johnny, and welcome to Polar Dread, a FNAF inspired game released in virtual reality. I've heard nothing but praise about this game from a lot of other FNAF YouTubers who've checked it out, uh, and also I was uh, able to speak with, I think, the main creator of the game. They were super excited that I was going to check it out in a video. And also, when I was looking into it, I, it reminded me of something, and I realized that it was actually uh, under a different name. It was in one of the previous, like, Fan Game at Freddy showcases, so... It, it appears I've already had a fairly long history with Polar Dread before even hopping into the game. But right off the bat, I don't like the look of you, feller. Looks like we got some credits. Alright, I'm just gonna hit go. Awesome. I don't know how long this- oops, I hit my mic. That might happen a lot in this video, by the way. Oh, how wonderful. Oh, what a nice little home I've got going on here. So it looks like there was five nights, who would have thought? I'm definitely not going to do all of them in this video, but if you guys want to see more videos on Polar Dread, hit the like button, subscribe if you're new, all that good stuff. Um, I mean, I guess I should look at the tutorial. So, I've seen a little bit of gameplay. Hello, player, and welcome to Polar Dread. Now, we don't have an actual narration yet. For the I tutorial, hate this. So, you're going to be stuck with me instead for now. Um, you so sound friendly. I introduce you to is but I hate this. Woof! <laughs> Because it's gonna get a little complex in the later nights of the game. And Did I do that? Manage everything in the room. I think a good place to start would be your door controls. My doors, right? Yeah. Okay. If you look down to the right of the room, you should see a door that has some fairy lights at the top of it. That. This is gonna be your main office entrance, and this is how a lot of the enemies are gonna try to get into your room. Okay. Now, if you look down at your table, table, you should see that there's a little button on it that's to the. A floor little right. button. This will actually toggle the door, Bop. opening it or closing. Oh. It. God now, don't worry damn it. The door opening on its own cuz it's going to stay shut Bop. if you hold it shut. As soon as you toggle it back off again though, the door will open, meaning that anything gotcha. can get through. Gotcha. Now, the reason you want to keep the door open sometimes pew, pew, pew. is cuz you have a boom. You can boom. this limit on your watch using the green My rim watch that surrounds the time. My watch. Once the green rim turns red, that's power that you've effectively lost. Oh. You cannot get back until the end of your shift. Boom. You have to manage all your power the best you can. Boom. Now, another thing I want to address is the ventilation duct behind you. The you frickin' around, what?! You should see a ventilation duct behind you. No! This is where some enemies are gonna come across. I can't through. see crap, you Captain! First, you have to detect them by pushing the X button in your controller. You'll turn you on think I know what button the X hand. button is? You can use this to look into darker areas of the office if you feel like it's needed. But this does <sighs> not take up any power, so you can be oh. as trigger happy with it as you want. What a bunch of baloney! If you focused in the dark vent, you might see something in there. I if might, you do, but I don't you want. Look it. to the right of the vent, where you should see a little button. This Boom. Like oh, my green control. screen. You toggle it on and off, and it shuts that up the might vent, be an issue. any creatures from getting inside. Now, if you turn around to face the front again, you should see a little tablet that's mounted in front of you. Yep. And then behind that tablet, you should see a giant flat screen on the wall that has a camera system on it. Correct. You can basically use this tablet by touching okay. the room to toggle that camera feed to the room that you just touched. Okay. It's just that you can tell where all the enemies are without needing to actually leave the office. Gotcha. It's always good to look at the cameras if you don't know where an enemy is, because otherwise they can sneak up on you if you're not paying attention. Okay. Now, the last thing I want to tell you about is how to force grab items in this game. Force grab. There are some items that are currently out of your reach. Oh, that's you can the same camera. Oh, no, it's not. You using a simple three-step system. Three First steps? Off, that's not simple. Reach towards whatever object you want to grab. And if it has a blue highlight, you're doing it correctly. I'm doing it correctly. And then, make a fist by squeezing either the trigger or the grip button. Ugh. And then, once you have it locked in, swing your arm backwards and it'll come flying towards Whoa. you, where you can then catch it out of the air. Oh. And you'll require some more items ah. from the later nights of the game. So you want to make sure gotcha. you as many of them as you possibly can. In the spare time I know you got to throw stuff at these guys, because they activate That's on the walls. Now, though. So I'll just let you win the game. Bah. Hey! I win! Oh, that was so easy! Yeah, let's crack open this bad boy. <laughs> glug, glug, glug. God. Dude, dude, dude. If sh shows up in my goddamn room, you suck! You s no, you, s you suck. You suck. Okay, I'm gonna do Monday. You go away, and I'll do Monday. Uh, press the trigger. Always keep an eye on the dark. <laughs> How can I watch the dark and turn around behind you when possible? Does that mean right now? No. Press X. Uh, 
Yes. Oh, wait, trigger. Oh, no, my mic. Oh, my God, everything's going wrong. Hello? <gasps> wait, come here. Oh, come here. Sam. Hey, this is Isaac. Yeah, Grant. it's me, Sam. I figured I'd leave you a call real quick since there's stuff we've got to tell you about in the office you're in. That's First dumb. Off, I want to tell you that this shift is, well, it's a bit longer than you thought it would be. You're going to be up until six in the morning. You That's actually exactly how long I thought it was going to be. You thought, but just bear in mind that these are oh! taking a very long time. Hence why your being here is so important. Some people out there are... Okay! I know we're open 24-7, but people tend to stumble in while we're doing construction like a bubble. He's stumble game. he's stumbling in. And they literally stick their fingers in trying to open what the What show are you watching? Okay, let's just go over the obvious stick. We have a monitor in front of This is a very confusing room. layout of a building. To the room. Groundbreaking technology, eh? Oh, no, what even is this build? Oh, I'm on cloud nine, baby. Table, so just press that if you feel like someone is in the building and you should be safe. I see him. Don't use them too much. Their electric can use quite a bit of power. God knows this entire resort uses enough power already. Mm. Speaking of, if you look at your watch, you can see your power limit using the green rim of the watch. More red, that's oh, that's my door. The power bill. Yeah, you find that funny, don't you, asshole? Hey! It's one thing for tonight. I'm gonna die soon, maybe. Stuff. Don't speak maybe ill of the soon to be dead. Yourself, since that office gets incredibly stuffy in the wrong condition. <laughs> But I am very stuffy like right right now, actually. You just push the button to the right of the bed. A lot of yard work today. I think that's How do you know? Now. I'll call you soon, though. See you later, Sam. And remember to not mess up our shit. It's expensive. Good night. You don't sound too good, buddy. You're being a bit mean to your best friend Sam here. Oh, Jesus Christ! Ha! <laughs> ha! <laughs> wow! You sneak up on me, you bumhole. Are you gone? Oh my god. Hey man, are you coming to say hi? Let's have a look. Hey. See ya. Adios. I am I hate the dude behind me, who I think was also the same dude who was in my starting area. So he just, he really wants to say hi to me. But man, I don't want to say hi. I hate him. I hate you, can you hear me? I Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god! Can I keep that closed the whole night? Can I please keep that closed the whole night? You want some of this? Yeah. Oh. Right, okay. Get rid of you. Oh, you just, you, you, or... I hate you. You're going away. 3 a.m. and I've used a quarter of my power. No, this is going great. What are you talking about, guys? I really don't like you. Or you. Especially you. The guy in the door is fine, actually. He's just, he's, he's walking around. He's doing his own thing. I don't need to worry about him. Look, he's going, he's going to the studio. He's going to watch a film. What film you got on there, bud? Uh, I don't know. What the hell are you watching? Jesus. I hate that guy, man. I really hate that guy. Take a stuffy and go. It goes through the wall. Makes sense. You gone? You're gone. My God. I hate everything about this. I see you. Dude, that was so sick. I will say, the, the animations so far are goddamn incredible. Especially that guy back there. That is, that is terrifying. 5 a.m. Final hour. And I'm using, I'm using so much power. How? Actually, how? Do you give me more power as the nights go on? Because I feel like this is definitely not enough power to survive against so many more animatronics, I'd assume. I saw you. You can't sneak up on me. I've got the sniffles. I win! Dance with me, Stuffy. I don't like that he's gone now. That makes me feel like they can just show up in a lot of places. Well, I beat Monday. Night? Does that... Okay, that goes to Tuesday. Let's do Tuesday. 
Let's go Tuesday. Monday wasn't that bad. Monday was not bad. Um, sl <laughs> Slush Bear. He's not affected by the doors. Crouch upon his arrival. She makes a lot of noise. Toss an object. I thought that was her name for a moment. Yeah, so you gotta toss objects at the dudes on the wall. And I gotta crouch with this dude. How crouched down do I need to be? That's me crouching down. That doesn't feel... That doesn't feel safe enough. Am I too tall? I'm too tall. <laughs> oh, I'm, I'm too tall for these stupid animatronics. I should have something ready to throw at you, right? Just... Just to be safe. I've got a bottle here. <laughs> oh my Jesus Christ. I hate that guy. How do I know when Slushy's coming up? How do I know when Slush Man is gonna come to my office? Hello. Goodbye. Okay, you're gone. I should start a collection. Go away. Can I get those bottles? I can't reach those. Oh, that's the dude behind me. Here, let's get this bottle. Give me it. Give it to me. I want it. No! Okay, well, that's one less object to throw at. Uh, funny bun bun. So the dude that runs into my room. Slushy man. Slush bun. Does he come from here? Is that another vent or is that just an opening? Okay. So you're going. Because if he runs through this door... I'd assume. That doesn't look like he can run through there. Can I see him on the cam? I'll be able to see him come up. So I'll know. Yes? Maybe. 2 a.m. Quarter power done. You're coming up. Oh, uh, did I see you? Oh, they're double attacking. They're trying to pin me into a corner. Damn it. They've already pinned me into a corner. You're going. Okay. Is that the holy they Bible? Say, I've got the voice of an angel. Bye, missed! Did I kill you? Oh, you suck. So these guys are actually pretty in sync right now. Which is good. I still haven't ran into, uh, Mr. Slush. Come closer. Come closer. Come closer. Come closer. Come closer. You're lucky I suck at throwing crap. What? Let me just open the stuff. Hold on. What? The hell was that? Is that du Mr. Duck? Is that Duck, dude? Is that the Duck? Mr. Duck? You shut up. What the hell was that? Uh. Oh. Well, I'm ducking! You can't see me! I'm so low to the ground! I hear the dude is bent! Uh. 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 Are you coming back? Uh, no, you're a door dude. Uh. Did you leave? Okay. Uh. Okay. Excuse you? Did you fart? What the hell was that? Uh, the Holy Spirit compels you. God damn it! I missed. I don't like any of you. I am running out of power. Uh, I'm good, thank you. No one's home. You can go. Yeah. Go away, go away. I did see him run back into um the studio. I don't know where he went after that. Oh my god, I'm actually out of breath. <laughs> and I'm so stuffly. I'm so, my nose is so... What a lovely night. Shut up. Okay. Ooh, I am getting... So dizzy. I thought I shut you up. Oh. Oh. I'm sorry. Okay. Yeah, come at me. Wait, I was lying. No, don't. Mr. Bear Man. Yeah. Oh. 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 What a nice name. What? No. 
My night's done. You can, you can go away. You can go away. You can go away. Right. That's it. I need a break. I think to finish off this video, I just want to see one of the jump scares. And then maybe if you guys like this enough, I'll come back. I'll do Wednesday, Thursday, Fridays. Be sure to keep down the volume in my office. I can hear you. He can hear me breathe. Terrifying. That'd be so cool if they had a, a built-in mic feature where they could hear you talking through the mic. They say I've got the voice of an angel. No, you just suck. You all suck. Oh, oh. Oh my god. Come in, you won't. Oh! Okay. What the hell? Oh no. Oh god. Where? Oh, they got me good. So I think that was the dude who could hear me. I want to get another jump scare. I just want to get one more. My god, that was... That was terrifying. This whole game is terrifying. Genuinely, what the hell? This has startled me way more than FNAF VR ever did at any point in the game. It's mainly this dude behind me who is just absolutely terrifying. What the hell is that? Who the hell are you? What, what, what are you? <laughs> no. <laughs> shut up. Yeah, I shut you up good, you suck. What the hell is that? I want to see your jump scare. Okay. Okay. Whoa! Oh, <laughs> the controls are shake as well. Oh. You should there... have sealed that vent. Hey, why is there a tree up there? Hey, that wasn't a... <laughs> Did you say kill me? Why is there a tree? That wasn't there last time. Mr. Seal Buddy. I'm guessing you're a seal, you made a seal pun. Oh yeah, the jump scares are so much bigger than the jump scares in FNAF VR. So they're like, they're actually like right up in your face. They, they look huge in the game. Um, but man, that's gotta do it for Polar Dread today. I, I need to go change my pants. This game is freaking incredible. And I think it's only a demo right now, which for a demo, this is absolutely insane. The animations are, are amazing. The game itself is terrifying. The mechanics are super unique. Like, having to pick something up and throw them. I'm not even looking at you. Having to pick something up and throw them at an animatronic on the wall is so genius. Having the animatronics on the wall in the first place is even more genius because, you know, I don't know if this speaks for everyone, but even I myself had a restaurant near me that had animatronics mounted on walls exactly like that so for me it's even more terrifying the voice acting i i only heard a little bit of it but it 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 is also pretty good they fit the characters super well um again i've only heard uh, maybe two death lines and also the um the mounted bunny on the wall but like their voices are super sick i love them the setting itself i don't fully understand maybe if there was a bit of exposition of who we are i know our name's sam but what this location is, who these characters are, uh, I think that's all I really want. But other than that, this is a fantastic, terrifying experience. If you have a headset, you know, definitely, definitely go check this out. It's free, at least the demo is. Uh, obviously, there will be a link in the description to go download it. Please go try this out. This is absolutely insane, and I, I really do want to come back for another video. And also, when the full game does eventually come out, I will definitely be checking that out as well. And I also know the... Developer is also working on some more FNAF, or well not, you know, FNAF fan games, but FNAF inspired VR games, and I definitely want to check those out when they come out. I just, I had a blast with this experience. Developers, if you're watching, which I'm assuming you are because it seems like you're fans, you got some incredible work here. This is absolutely fantastic, and I will definitely be checking out what you guys do in the future. You know, more updates on this game and other projects. This was incredible. But like I said, that's going to do it for this episode of Polar Dread. If you guys want more, hit the like button, subscribe, and I'll see you all on the flip side. Goodbye.